guys, Poop on my back. I'm Aaron. Eric. And we are back with Ass Class. Well, yes. we have a test. I thought we were done with tests, but yep. there's another test. There's another test. That we have to deal with. But yeah. uh, I'm not this low. time for the teacher. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I don't know. The odds are stacked against uh, Koro Sensei. I'm not sure if he can do it or what will happen. He's I mean, already had one explosion. I can't imagine that he dies this way. But I'm not exactly sure what the solution is that he gets out of it. Can you imagine that this is the closest he'll be to death in the whole show? I, f I feel, yes, because I think like each time they do something new, mm -hmm. it's the closest he's been to death yeah. since before. It could happen. Right? And I don't know, can he die of old age? Old age? Yeah. Like, can he die of getting too old and like just body parts failing and stuff? Because essentially, every day he's closer to death, too. That's true of all of us. Yeah, exactly, right? Like, you're closer to death today, more than more, most likely, than you were, like, last week. Mm. Though you did fly in a plane recently, so I don't know if that, like, measures anything differently of odds of death, but... I, th I don't know. Maybe. And then you also, like, you were in Columbus, Ohio. Yeah. You know? So, yeah. like, that probably, like... Yeah. Where's the Arby's, oh you know? God, Shit. I could die any day. Yeah, right? Like, tomorrow. Just BAM! <laughs> At first with that, I was like, oh, man, the acorn again. I was like, wait, you got fired. It did. And then, like, that yeah, first shot, good. I was just like, oh, okay. <laughs> I used to be somebody. <laughs> None of this episode went the way I thought it would. No. None of it. No. I don't know what the play was. I was inverted was. on every single part of it. That play was something. That play was something. I don't get why the pheasant, monkey, and dog showed up towards the end of it. I, the, the, they left a, a you never forget it. I guess. Are you peach. ever going to forget about this play? A peach birthing a baby. Yeah. Divorce papers. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So yeah, it that was, was like slam poetry dramatized. Yeah. Man, that was fun. <clears throat> <sighs> but I feel like the most of the conversation should lead towards what we got with the principal. Yeah. Which I thought was interesting. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I mean, yeah, didn't see that coming. Thought that the game was going to last a lot longer. Sure, right. Thought it was going to be way more challenging. Yeah. I think they definitely wanted us to think that. I thought it was going to be more like, like the first time him opening, it was yeah. going to be more like that, but each time, like, oh my gosh, oh, no, yeah. I thought, oh, do. that's just the beginning? That's just part one. Yeah. <gasps> oh no, the plan, he, I'm sure the principal has like, you know, five plans after that. This isn't, you know. No. But he's memorized like every book. Yeah. Except for that first book, because a student book. has been borrowing it out for far too long. Yep. He hasn't kept up on it. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Really but the other ones, he has the pages memorized where he'd be like, oh, it's this. He just didn't have yeah. that one memorized. He knew the work, but he freaked out and yeah. in a panic. But then once he was like, oh, I just know what this is, bam. I, uh, I, I feel like I've learned something about the principal, but I can't <clears throat> say what exactly. Sure. He was going to kill himself. Yeah, he was like, well, I've, you know, if I lose here, then there's more strength being somewhere else kind of thing, right, is the idea. I think. Yeah, it, it just, it's just a, it's like the turn from like, I'm, I believe in strength so much, I will kill myself to like, there's always room to keep growing, <laughs> you know? Sure. Wasn't he going to say goodbye to his son? Yeah, it, which is a weird relationship in, mm -hmm. in general. He's like, they don't know how to feel about him right now. I could use some money for this hit you gave yeah. me. He's like, you know what? Sue me. <laughs> He's like, oh, yeah. okay. I and then, what? I'm going to have to use this next week to think about this. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Like, I feel like he did a whole 180. But, you, but it worked for me. Did you think at any point that that boy was going to be dead? No. No? No. I thought that as soon as they cut and showed him, like... At the bridge? There was, like, yeah, like a bridge or wherever it was, and there was, like, a wind blowing, and I'm like, where is he? No, I'm I like, had no idea. Is he going to jump? Like, is he calling? And I, I was worried, and, like, his call thing, like, I'm like, he made a he, plan. He made plans. But was it a short, just I want to talk to him and tell him, you know, just see how he's doing before I, like, one last, not, like, I don't want to say goodbye, but kind of giving one last goodbye before. Mm, I get what you mean. That's, so, like, I was, like, I was worried. I'm like, I hope he doesn't. And then that was immediately what they did. And that boy was the dude on the bench from last episode. So, the, the yeah, the kids who had pushed him, he gave them bad advice that led them into a gambling addiction. So like he, he has punished them. That's right. That's yeah. crazy revenge. Because like yeah, we were. And well, then he last was episode, giving them money, right? It was last episode of two episodes ago where I'm like, why did he give yeah. this gambling it's guy money? Yeah. Like, what was that? What was the point of that? To feed and his addiction. Here, I, yeah. I, see, I get it now. I oh, yeah, that's I get who it. That was. It's yeah. It's a that's a hell of a revenge. But man, him back there in the past in the 
the E Classroom Shack. Yeah. Like those kids, like he, I'm like, this guy's cool. He's mm-hmm. playing basketball. He's, like the reason, <laughs> he's doing the same thing. If you can hit me, you don't have to go to school. Right? All these kids are like, all right, guys, look, you're not really going to learn. You're going to try to kill the teacher. Like, oh, okay, we can do that. And then they've tricked him into learning. <laughs> you know? <laughs> like, that, and like the teacher, like Corson, they said here, is like, they, the only thing in here that is dangerous is this weapon to me. To me, yeah. It's not, not nothing else. is life threatening to anyone else in this classroom. Yeah. And it makes it more safe in a way because it's like none of them are in danger. Mm-hmm. And he's like, I'm not in danger. I know what to do. Sure. Like they're firing those pellets. And if I accidentally, you know, mess up and hit the someone in the back, you're fine. That's in, that's in front of me. I'll be yeah. Fine. Yeah. I get you. So I get gun safety, though. <laughs> well, they're teaching good gun safety within it. Yeah. Right? But their line of sights are really close between everybody yeah, when they do that. They practice and they're yeah. kind of good with it, you know? Yeah. Like, some of them are, like, marksman people from, like, really far away. Sure. Great. Do you ever do, like, gun range firing or anything like that when no, you were a kid or anything? I don't think I, I... I did, like, not at a gun range. Yeah. I did it, like, country gun range. Sure, you know I mean? country like, gun range, yeah. Here, I, I am in the But still, like, you have the it. idea of, like, you know, when you have a range, no one goes down range while there's live firing being done, right? Sure, yeah. But, like... Those kids are lined up, you know, and they're by definition all in the range of the person behind them. You know? Sure. So it's yeah. always freaking me out. <laughs> but it's not, they're not lethal or anything, so it's not a big deal. Sure. And like in, I'm pretty sure like military wise and stuff, they try to keep those, but yeah. it's not always the case oh, either. No, of course you know? not, yeah. So as long as you know what you're doing, but that's like, that you train like that so yeah. that you're, yeah, exactly. you're used to that. And yeah. You know what you're aiming for. And, but it's like uh, whenever we're in martial arts, it's like, all right, you do these stances. Mm-hmm. It's like, but I'm never. You're never gonna fight someone in these stances. You sure. do these for your body to be prepared and know where it should go. Yeah. And then when you are fighting, your your body just goes in its natural stance, yeah. which has been over embellished by these. You know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But no, I liked seeing the teacher do his stuff. I like, I, I liked the principal before. I mean, I really need to like think about it. There's just so the I, I need a good old think. I'm like, huh, interesting. I like the I'm trying I, to like follow from one conclusion to the the other. You know? Like his idea is that he hasn't, um, he hasn't prepared his students for the world how he thought. He yeah. made them good students, but he then tries to find what strength is, and he wants to convey that to his students. And thus, even if his... it means sacrificing others, yeah, he will make students that will be better than the rest. He, okay. So, so he's okay writing off some students for the benefit of others. I mean, it kind of falls into like a dark side kind of thing, right? Yeah, no, Where it's I get like you. the power yeah. gained. Like, Bane makes the rule of two. At yeah. some point, he will be overcome, and his sacrifice will mean the Sith have gotten stronger. Yeah. Right? I get you. That's kind of the same idea I think he yeah. has, where it's like, you must be willing to sacrifice to have people be the strongest, and my students will be the strongest, and they won't be taken advantage of by these people. But, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's the right way. That's just what his philosophy has become, I think. It almost, yeah, I no, I get you. No, and obviously he's gone through trauma, right? Yeah. Like, like I don't think the Sith Sith, killed himself. I think the Sith way is the right way, but it got results. <laughs> no, true. <laughs> you know, but like if one of the things that hurt him and caused him such trauma was a bully drove someone to suicide, he's turned all of his strong, successful students into bullies. That bully E class, sure. You know, like but it his, seems it will be his students will be the ones that survive though. Like that's. I think that's what he is. Like now, yeah, yeah. Now his students. I mean, E class are his students too, right? Well, I think that that's the sacrifice part of it, yeah, right? Okay. They must be willing to sacrifice E class. So is he saying that bullies, bullies are are, are strong? Because um, generally, bullying is is about weakness, so, not strength. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Which I I think would be an argument that you could try to like yeah push in, be like, well, but what about this? But I think he's looking at like they will be they won't just be dumb bullies that bully people. Yeah. They will be. Students that smart have, boys that they have, they're smart. Mm-hmm. They have everything they need, and they won't be taken advantage. If you're a bully, right? you can't get bullied. Yeah, right. <laughs> like who, who's bullied in school? Which is the patent, people, people, patently untrue. The people bullied in school are the yeah. smaller, smart kids and stuff like that, right? Yeah. And it's always like the the bigger, mm-hmm. dumb kids that are always bullying. At least to, it's like yeah, right? but it's like uh, the new version of uh, Flash Thompson and Spider Man, right? It's like, well, he's a bully, but he's a nerd. <laughs> sure. Yeah. So he's yeah. trying to make that. He's which smart. that's what that's what A class is in this. Yeah. Is the new Flash Thompson. Okay. Whereas like I think the old ones that were bullying them were yeah. like old Flash Thompson, old right? Flash Thompson. He's old the, Joe the football player yeah. who's maybe not the smartest. Mm-hmm. He's taking your 
you went in Balkan Skull, right? Give yeah. me your homework. Yeah, so you say Barkus, Hulk and Skull, I'm going to think of that song. <laughs> okay. So I think that's, uh, and, you know, I think there's flaws in it because he's also, he had his method. And yeah. then he's like. He went through some traumatic. He went through something. He's like, I'm teaching them wrong. How do I prepare my students for the mm-hmm. world? Like, sure. I don't care about their, he obviously didn't care about the bullies. Yeah. Because he made them gambling addictions, right? He did. So he doesn't care about them. Yeah. He cares about his kids. No, I get it. So how do I make Except- sure that this never happens to my kids ever, yeah. ever again? So he studied karate or martial yeah. arts and whatever else to try to find different ways that are strength. So uh-huh. fighting is strength and knowledge is strength and money is strength and you know, like what 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 can you what can you call strength? What what equals power in a sure. way, you know? And that's I think still the flaw. Mm-hmm. It, it's not like well this this is strength. Like these kids here have gotten really strong and have pushed back against the bullies. Sure. In their own ways, yeah. Without necessarily themselves being bullies, yeah. You know, hmm. no, I, I get you. So hopefully, this is a track like he's like. I suppose I can leave you guys here and do this and this and yeah. You know, like maybe I'll come and try to kill you once in a while. So like, mm-hmm. hopefully, the whole idea of like I need to grow, like he's not done le- learning either. Will go somewhere mm-hmm. and do well. I don't know. Yeah. That was uh, <clears throat> that I. I absolutely loved it because I had no idea what was going to happen next. Mm-hmm. And then I'm like, oh, okay, well, now we're going to, the next couple episodes is going to be a drama festival. Like, we'll be, you know, seeing them getting ready for it. No. See the other classes put on something, and then finally get to see ours. And then this they come a- out, and they're like, you know. Peach. Yeah. They come out, and they're, uh, hero to, I am a hero <sighs> to. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I was thinking of my hero. That's really good. This I was like, I and then don't it know. started, and then it, won't, it wouldn't stop. Yeah, <laughs> I was, I was also waiting for a little bit of like, Harry, I am Gandalf. You're a wizard, and I'm your father. You know, like those kind of things yeah, where sure. like they had their own drama thing. Yeah. No, it was like uh, sometimes they have like those half episode things where mm-hmm. it feels like it's split, where it's like here's a bit of story yeah. for something else, like mm-hmm. the next day. Yeah. So it was nuts. It was no. The principal stuff I enjoyed. I'm excited to see what we get of him and what exactly he means by like. Like it seems like maybe we've kind of defeated him. I don't know exactly, but he had like a. Can a teacher? Can you be a teacher among what's coming? So I don't think that it's him that's going to be the issue yeah. necessarily. It's something else, but. You know what? It felt very Hunter Hunter, in that mm. I thought, oh, this is going to end with this crazy big giant battle. Mm-hmm. Nope. Yeah, no. And I'm so satisfied. So, that's... When I say it's kind of like Hunter Hunter, to me, that's like one of the highest compliments I can give anime. <laughs> Hunter Hunter was pretty good. Some of the, yeah. the writing... At least, I don't know about the first one, but uh-huh. the one that we watched yeah, was, sure. I feel like, done really well. Yep. <clears throat> and it was taken from us too soon. Just like this dra- dramatic play that they created. I was fascinated. I wanted more. I feel like there should be another half of the, ep- yeah. of the play, right? What happens when that baby's Like, born? now those monkeys and yeah. dogs and pheasants come after yeah. the wife or the yeah. baby or something. The, the, the or they're going to eat the peach or something. The I don't peach. know. What's inside it? I want the peach to hatch. Yeah, I don't Like know. I said, there was like a baby growing inside, right? Yeah. I don't think we're going to get any more. Unless they do a drama too. Electric Boogaloo. Guys, thank you very much for watching this episode of Assassination Classroom. If you guys enjoyed this video, please tell us why. Was it the reaction? Was it discussion? Was it us trying to remember names that we can't pronounce? Was it sheer confusion? Or was it our beautiful, wonderful faces? Only full length gets that assassination class thing. Yep, you should get full length.